so finally normality now so in our built up to know this normality we have pretty much covered most of the concept behind it so the definition for you normality which is represented by the capital letter n is number of equivalent divided by instead of number of moles of the solute number of equivalents of the solute divided by volume of solution in liters it is very very similar to what is molarity but instead of number of moles we have got number of equivalents so the units will come as equivalents per liter which is called normal so that's the uh, so if you have two equivalents per liter we call it as two normal so applying the formula straight away i'll give you a question and uh, see whether you are able to apply the formula correctly or not so take this down suppose we have 68.4 grams of aluminium sulfate in 200 ml of the solution okay so be careful this time also we have solution not the solvent volume of the whole solution the solution is 200 ml so most probably it was uh, mixed in 200 ml of water which uh, it was mixed in water which was made up to 200 ml of the solution so quickly do this what's the normality find out the normality of this and another one so we'll do it over here so leave some space and write that is calcium hydroxide let's do calcium x hydroxide so you have say 3.7 grams of calcium hydroxide in 50 ml of solution so what is the normality and also find the molarity okay also find the molarity what you had done earlier so first first one and then the next one We'll go one by one. I hope you have got it right. So let's solve the first one. So grams is grams are not going to help me much. What is going to help me is number of moles and number of equivalents. If you get number of moles, you are almost there and you know how much is the number of equivalents. So we have to get the number of moles. Number of moles of aluminum sulfate will be 68.4 grams of it divided by the molar weight. The molar weight is 342. So this is 6 uh, 684 is uh, double of that so that is 2 by 10 which is 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 moles how many equivalents it is number of equivalents will be the x factor into the number of moles so each each molecule is as good as 6 because the cationic charge is 6 as explained earlier so the equivalence will be 6 into 0 0.2 which is 1.2 1.2 equivalence you'll have so if i have asked you what's the molarity molarity was number of moles divided by the volume in liters so the number of mole is 0.2 and the volume in liter is again 0.2 liters it is 200 ml divided by thousand so you get a molarity of one that's one molar and for normality we have number of equivalents equivalent divided by the volume so the equivalent over here is six times more which is 1.2 equivalent divided by the volume volume is 0 0.2 so what we get is six normal so what we see over here is that the molar the normality is six whereas the molarity is one it is representing the actual chemical situation which is it is having six times the effect of any uh, a mono uh, valence salt so now do this calcium hydroxide thing first do the same steps get the number of moles get the number of equivalents and get the molarity and normality so what we have over here is number of moles is equal to the weight 3.7 divided by the molar weight which is 74 so we can write this as 37 by uh, 10 so that is the 74 is double of 37 so we get 1 by 20 those many number of moles now 1 by 20 in fraction you can write it as uh, 100 by 20 which is uh, and divide by 100 which is 5 by 100 which is 0 0.05 moles now number of equivalents will be the x factor 
of calcium hydroxide which is 2 into the number of moles of calcium hydroxide which is 0.05 that is equal to 0.1 equivalence so coming to molarity molarity will be number of moles which is 0.05 divided by 0.2 so which is 0.5 divided by 2 which is 0.25 that is your molarity and the normality would be equal to 0.1 divided by the volume which is 0.2 which is 1 by 2 which is 0.5 so we see that the normality is double the molarity in the earlier case it was six times in this case it is two times why so because the number of equivalents was six times the volume remains same in both the expressions molarity and normality number of equivalents was six times the number of moles hence the normality came as six times here also the number of equivalents was two times the number of moles hence the molar normality came as twice the molarity so we can safely say that We'll write over here where the equivalence is x times the number of moles so eventually the normality would be x times the molarity so that's the formula that's the relation between your normality and molarity is basically the uh, relation between number of equivalence and number of moles so that's that's a normality so i'll give you a chemical equation question based on this so that uh, you get a feel of this uh, better so write down a question so i'll not try to put the club of the limiting agent thing i hope you have understood that so i'll give you a very simple question so do it very fast say we have 0.2 normal 200 ml h3po4 solution so the question is this thing is going to neutralize how many grams of this thing is going to neutralize how many grams of uh, say NaOH so neutralizes how many grams of NaOH so do this quickly had I given you that this neutralizes this is this is this acid is used to neutralize so many grams of NaOH then only one of the two data was useful and uh, to get the limiting agent and the other other would have been in excess so I'm not I'm not going to do that because we have already done that in molarity it's a pretty much uh, straightforward forward question so you can do by the concept of one equivalence neutralizes one equivalence of NaOH or you can convert to moles and do it whichever way you feel comfortable you can do and uh, in the next chapter in redox i'll be insisting you to do such questions with equivalence uh, to get a very better uh, feel with the equivalence so here you can choose your way of uh, doing the question okay i'll do this question with uh, method one which is through moles so i'll do by method one which is through moles so that is I, I i want to get how many moles we had of the acid and then write a balanced chemical reaction to see how many moles of naoh it should require get the moles of naoh and convert it to grams by multiplying with the molar weight so that's the way uh, we had been doing earlier so molarity of the solution will tell us will lead us to getting into how many moles we had so molarity of the solution is the normality of the solution divided by the x divided by the x factor it's noteworthy that molarity is always either equal to the normality or less than the normality because normality has either the number of equivalence is either equal to the number of moles or uh, more than the uh, number of moles equivalence is always equal to a greater than number of moles hence normality is always equal or greater to the molarity so molarity is going to come as a fraction of normality and at best equal to normality so molarity is equal to in this case uh, the normality was given as 0.2 and the x factor is 3 so you have a molarity of 2 by 30 or 0.2 by 3 we'll leave it like this we'll light in fraction 2 by 30 so the number of moles n will be equal to molarity into volume what we were using earlier it's written somewhere over there yes it is here it is molarity into volume so we have molarity as 2 by 30 
and volume if i choose the volume in milliliters i'll get in uh, millimoles so let me do in milliliters the volume in milliliter is 200 so not a factor of 3 not nice so this is 2 into 20 which is 40 divided by 3 is 13.33 so that's your number of moles you could have got the number of moles by getting the equivalence first and then the number of moles so to get the number of equivalence the formula very similar to this will be number of equivalence will be equal to normality into volume n into v will give you the number of equivalence it is just redefining just cross multiplying the normality formula normality was equivalence divided by volume you cross multiply we get equivalence equal to normality into volume very similar to the early one so if you want milli equivalence milli equivalence that will be normality into volume in milliliters so that will give you milli equivalence if you are uh, doing in milliliters if you do in liters then only you get equivalence so equivalence would have been equivalence would have been normality into volume or milli equivalence would have been normality into milli volumes in milliliters so that is 0.2 and volume in milliliter is 200 so that gives you uh, 2 into 20 which is 40 equivalents now number of moles would be a fraction of it number of moles would be equivalence divided by the x factor which is 40 divided by x factor of phosphoric acid which is 3 so 40 by 3 again which is 13.33 moles whether you convert to molarity first and get the number of moles or get the equivalence and then convert to number of moles we are basically in method one trying trying to do through moles so if you do through moles then we have to write a balance reaction so what's the balance reaction h3po4 is going to react with 3 naoh to give you the salt which is na3po4 and water so three of water and all i'm not even balancing that side so what we get over here is one acid reacts with 3 NaOH now how many acid we have how many moles we have we have got 40 by 3 so it is going to react with 40 by 3 into 3 which is 40 moles so we are pretty much done with the answer the NaOH will be 40 I'm sorry this was millimoles this was also millimoles because we had used milliliters over here so we have 40 millimoles is the final answer but in terms of gram it is 40 divided by 1000 those are those many moles into the weight of one mole which is uh, 40 so what we get over here is 16 divided by 10 that is 1.6 grams so that's your answer uh, 0.2 normal 100 uh, 200 ml phosphoric acid is going to react with 1.6 grams of NaOH. If you want to avoid writing the balanced reaction, you rather do it by equivalence. So let me just do it by equivalence for you over here. Method say 2. Method 2 through equivalence. So how many equivalence we have? Number of equivalents of or number of milli equivalents of phosphoric acid is the normality into the volume in milliliters will give you 40 milli equivalents we had got that over here 40 i'm sorry this was milli equivalents so you have got 40 milli uh, equivalents of phosphoric acid so as told to you earlier one equivalence always reacts with one equivalence so 40 milli equivalents is going to react with 40 milli equivalents of naoh so equivalence of NaOH is equal to equivalence of phosphoric acid reason being one equivalence reacts with one equivalence which is equal to 40 milli equivalence so we are again done with the answer NaOH is 40 milli equivalence but will require the answer in grams so either you can multiply equivalence with equivalent weight to get the grams 
it was written somewhere over here yeah uh, equivalent weight will be the grams will be equivalence into equivalent weight or you can convert the equivalence to moles and multiply with the molar weight so any which way it's the same thing equivalence of NaOH is so many what will be the moles of NaOH moles of NaOH since the x factor is 1 the number of moles will be equivalence by x factor which is 40 divided by 1 remains 40 millimoles so it is 40 millimoles so what is the weight of NaOH the mass of NaOH mass of NaOH will be equal to the number of moles which is 40 by 1000 into the mass of one mole which is 40 grams so which gives you again 1.6 grams as the answer here if you had wanted to convert this to uh, gram straight away so the equivalence was 40 divided by 1000 equivalence was there into equivalent weight what is the equivalent weight equivalent weight is the molar weight divided by the x factor the x factor is 1 the mole was divided into how many parts that was divided into one part NaOH has got a valency or valence uh, factor of 1 so again we see that we get 1.6 grams the thing to notice over here this is your equivalence and this is your equivalent weight the difference is not very evident because the x factor is 1 hence I have written division by 1 over here that is what is making it uh, as an equivalent weight this is division by 1 is making it uh, the number of millimoles so any which way you do so you get the same answer so what is noteworthy in case we do with equivalent is we never wrote the uh, balance reaction so we are done with normality 